Let's get it going here, everybody. Number one, we want to start off with the question. Let's read the question here. And it says, what is the total number of stickers he now has? Everybody, before I continue, can we agree that really what we're looking for here is the number of stickers at the end? Yeah, just trying to find out how many stickers this person has. So stickers equals blank. We'll figure that out. Now, before you do any actual math, the best thing to do is understand the kind of math that we think we should be doing. So really what that means is, after we understand the goal, get your information, read your information, understand your information. A student bought two packs of stickers, each containing 10 stickers, and he already had three stickers before the purchase. So to me, what that says is, hey, we have two packs of stickers, let me highlight that in blue, two packs of stickers, so we have one pack here, one pack there. Everybody, how many stickers are contained in each pack? Correct, we had 10. We had 10 in each, so it's basically two times 10. And then it says right over here that he already had three stickers before the purchase. So everybody, are we adding that three to the 10 before we multiply? Or are we adding that three at the end? Correct, we're gonna be adding that at the end. Because again, it says he already had three stickers before the purchase. So no matter what number this is, we already had three in the beginning and we'll account for that right over here. Plus three that we already had. So my party people, let's keep it simple. Two times 10, that's gonna be 20. And then we had the three from the beginning, leaving us with a total now of 23. And there we go. Pretty straightforward question. And I can definitely understand why the majority of us feel like, yeah, this is a pretty standard, straightforward question. So that was the first one. Notice again, it was a pretty straightforward one. The problems can get harder or easier from here. We'll see. But before I continue, the unit that you will find this in, in arithmetic reasoning, let me write this in purple here. This is arithmetic reasoning unit number one. This is the unit for generalized word problems. And this is where you'll see problems that have you just read the story and understand what is going on and putting the pieces together. No real formula. It's really just about understanding the context. 